Okay, now over to our chef Mark Salvin in the Mastercraft Kitchen, and you are here for a full week. Mark, it is really nice to have you back. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. I am back, I'm back in the kitchen, and today we're going to make lemon meringue pie, one of my personal favourites, and I'm sure it's yours as well. Actually, it is my personal favourite, to be honest. It's one of my favourite desserts. It's always a, a crowd pleaser. So it's really simple. There's a few stages to go through. Um, you just need a bit of time, time um, to make each different stage and to chill down in between stages so you make it all perfect. First stage is to make the pastry. So just to speed things up, I've made the pastry here. So it's really simple. You just rub some flour, icing sugar, butter, a little bit of lemon zest and some cold water into a bowl, bring it to a paste, roll it out and line your tart tin. And I've got a top tip for you now. Any excess pastry you've got, uh, roll it up into a little ball and use this to just squash down your pastry and push it into the sides. And that will just make sure you get a really, really nice shaped, thin, even tart case for your pastry. And then all you need, a bit of greaseproof paper, pop it in there, and some of these beans. So these are blind baking beans, what you can buy, and it just weights it down and keeps it all into shape. Don't want to try and cook these at home because they'll never go soft. So I just pop them in, spread them out, and then we're going to pop that into an oven, about 150 to 160 for about 10 to 15 minutes, still nice and golden. Um, do find sometimes that the sides will go golden first. You can take the beans out and then you can just give it another two or three minutes for the base to get nice and golden. And then once you've done that, let it cool down and then you're ready for the next stages. So come and join me a bit later and we'll get the uh, tart on and the meringue on. Our resident chef Mark Southern is back in the Mastercraft kitchen. Welcome back, Mark. Thank you. Thank Still you. no Toblerone though. Where is it? No, I'm joking. I ate it. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. You're a food man. Um, we're going to find out about your holiday while we do our lemon meringue pie. Yep. Do we need to get things underway? Yeah, we're going to start making the, uh, the, the lemon mix for the pie, so the main ingredient. So I'm just going to pop half the sugar in there. Right. I'm going to leave the other half the sugar for the meringue as well. Mm-hmm. Right. And then if you squeeze that lemon, and we'll add it to this lemon. We've got lemon juice in there. We've got some corn flour in there. OK, you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. You know, before you were blind baking the tart, yep. if you don't have those fancy blind baked beans, is there anything else you can use? You can pour a bit of gravel in there or something? Or? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, you could. It would work. I wouldn't recommend it, though. <laughs> right. Um, you can use rice. Rice okay. is fine. Or yep. you can use any dried beans or dried peas, anything like that. Just if, And then keep using them. So pop them in a jar and then always use that. And then just obviously don't bother cooking with them. OK, well, that's a bit of money. OK, nice. Yes. Okay, sweet. All right, so you got water in there, you've got lemon juice in there as well. Yep. And then we've got our eggs. So eggs, I'm going to use all the egg, but we're going to separate them. So I'm going to put the whites in here, and we're going to make the meringue with the whites. Yolks go in there. Okay, so you're using the whole egg, that's great. Yeah. Yep. Uh, very important though, really clean bowl when you make meringue. Otherwise, any sort of fat or any dirt in there won't whip the egg whites up. Okay. Good and point. no yolk. So any little bit of yolk goes in here, it will not whip up. And a, like, I've got another top tip. So I've been on holiday and I'm just full of top tips now. If you do get any shell or yolk into your wife... Yes, I was thinking, take, you just said no yolk and then there's the yolk in there. I know, but I'm going to show you. Okay. So take your half of your eggshell yeah. and then you just pop it in and it just comes out like oh, that. Like a and pro. And then with the shell as well, it's sort of attracted to the shell. If you try and do it with your finger, it's just like it's one of those like near impossible things. Okay, good tips. Okay, well, while you're whipping that up, um, can I ask favourite place to visit? Well, my favourite place place was obviously uh, seeing all the family in yeah. Germany. Uh, other than that, Singapore. Love Singapore. And were you there on a food mission or were you there on an actual personal holiday? Uh, both. But both. I mean, I'm a chef, yeah. So obviously, uh, finding out the delicacies of the country and. Uh, Chili crab in Singapore was absolutely amazing. Mm, nice. Okay, I'm going to ask you a bit more about that in a minute, but right now, what, what process are you up to? So now you've put that on a... So this oh. is a bain-marie. Oh, okay. I thought, thought you knew that. No. <laughs> so bain-marie, so basically a double boiler. Yes. So we've got a nice sort of medium heat there. It's boiling. It's going to cook the uh, eggs and dissolve all the sugar. So we're just going to cook this for about four or five minutes, keep okay. stirring it, and it will start thickening. Okay, that's why you've got to keep stirring it so you won't get it lumpy and curdled. And then once it thickens, um, we're going to give it another sort of, turn the heat down, give it another minute whisking, and then we're going to add some butter. Nice, he said it, <laughs> yes, he's back. We've missed butter. That's we what you've missed. Have, yeah. <laughs> At least once a show. Okay, so excuse me. So I'm just going to pop. Lemon juice that yeah. I squeezed. Sorry about the pips. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 
it's all, it's all yeah. texture, Mike. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's great. Right, and then so we've got the egg whites here. So mm -hmm. um, you can do this by hand if you want, or yeah. um, if you can't be bothered, use an electric mixer. Okay, cool. It's a there lot you go. easier. Okay, I'll so do I'm going to let you do that. Yeah. So what we want to do first is just whisk it up, get some air into that. And once it starts going frothy, we're going to start adding the sugar. A little bit more. So that's about a good froth? Yeah, yeah. So once you're at that stage, you can add a little bit of sugar. And the key thing is just to add a spoonful at a time okay. until it's all incorporated. You can see it's getting nice and shiny and glossy. And this will ensure that it's not gritty. I can feel it getting a little bit thicker too, actually. Yeah, so this wants to be nice and stiff and shiny. And, uh, and then that's just going to finish this meringue off. OK, nice. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll carry on in here. We'll come back and see the finished product very soon if you want the recipe. Just go to thecafe.co.nz. It is great to have you back, <laughs> Mark. It's great it's to be so back. so good to have you back. And I'm really looking forward to trying out this pie a little later on. How's it going, Mark? Fantastic. It's ready. Oh, look at that. Hey. We are all ready to go. So we've cooked the base, we've got the lemon tart on there, and we've got the meringue. And we've just popped it back in the oven for about five minutes on a little bit of a higher temperature. And it's just set that meringue, and you're starting to get this beautiful little bit of colour there. So does it look good? Yeah, it looks amazing. Looks Bring amazing. it on over so I can get a closer look. All right. So, so you think you would let this cool down before you eat it, would you? Yeah, pretty much. Right. I mean, this has just come out of the oven. That's why I've uh, got cloth. Oh, so <laughs> the unfortunate thing is you've got to let it cool down for probably about half an hour to an hour oh. before you eat it. Oh. So you can't actually eat it now. No. It takes a oh, they're not. <laughs> you thought I wouldn't bring you anything back from Hollow oh. Oh, what a sport! Someone a told me that that years. was your favourite. This is my—I think I told you. This is my actually. <laughs> this is my favourite chocolate of all time, Mark. You are a legend. Thank you so much. And you just okay. What's on the show tomorrow? What are you doing? Right, so I'm making carrot soup tomorrow. Ooh, nice. Have yourselves a great day, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Oh, wow. <laughs>